Wayman Bennett, the Joint Secretary of Unite Against Fascism, um, to talk to you for a few minutes about the work that the UAF and other organisations are doing and taking on the fascists in this country. Thank you, thank you very much. I want to start off by saying, I want to thank the people that are on this platform. I want to thank John. That poster of him doing the Black Power Summit was on my wall. And I used to look at it all the time. And it gave me a sense that you should always struggle and fight and never accept, as he said, what your president said. I don't want to thank Dory for 19 years standing out against the Metropolitan Police. And I remember when the police said she was an ordinary woman. I remember when they said it. But I tell you what they didn't realise is that ordinary people could organise collectively and fight back against them. And it was so and senior police officers, and that's part of the reason what went on, and that's why we want another inquiry. And that's why we want it to be taken, as Doreen said, into every trade union, into every workplace, and into every community. I know that the police aren't fair, because when the 80, there's been 89 demonstrations against the EDL, and I tell you how they treat us. The, according to the Home Office, the EDL is a human rights organisation. Oh, <laughs> so you can call for killing and burning down Muslims, when they meet the UAF, they say, you're a left-wing troublemaker, people that want to bring problems to our streets, well, why don't you stay at home? They don't send that same message to the EDL. They spend millions of pounds telling people to stay at home, and the only people that don't say to stay at home are the, uh, are, are, are the racists. So I want to say this, we defeated the um, BNP, partly. They're not gone, but we partly defeated them. We made Nick Griffin cry in Barton and Barton. We did it through organising and proving to them that black and white unity and in struggle you can break them. We broke the National Front in the 1970s with the anti nazi and Rock Against Racism. We broke them. And I tell you we did it not from, it wasn't people like David Cameron who says that multiculturalism doesn't work. What does he know about multiculturalism? He comes from Eton, he's a millionaire, he doesn't know about our lives and how people, uh, and how people, uh, how people live. I think that in 1968 they talked about an affluent society, today we talk about a crunk society. They say we're all in it together, we're clearly not all in it together, when they cut taxes for themselves and give themselves millions of pounds. I think racism has come out of capitalism. Racism is embedded into the system. The police are not neutral, they play a role in our society. Today we've heard about the Queen's Peace, that's what it says when we join the peace officer. Your job is to protect the Queen's Peace. The Queen has got a very big piece. She's a lot of people there. And that's what they're there to protect. And they really see them. And we see them protecting that. And they, said to, they say to us, they ask me what are you doing around the Jubilee? I'm very sorry, I don't celebrate when billionaires are rich. When I was a kid, punks and reggae people came together and we celebrated punky reggae and we used to have a bad cool stuff, the Jubilee. And I still believe in that. Today it's even more unequal. So my point is, the people on 
on this platform are our leaders in terms of telling us that we can struggle. They are our leaders in terms of that. And I'm going to end up with what John Connor said, we have to win. And that's the reason why I want to ask you to go on the TUC demonstration, which I've now forgotten when it is, but I want to ask you to go on the TUC demonstration to struggle. Because I think when black and white people come together, I, I, just, I, I really will end up on this, right? The EDL were beaten in East London because Muslims, black and white, all came together. They were beaten on the streets because trade unions came together. But I'll tell you what else they were beaten by. They were beaten when the RMT shut down the stations. And the <laughs>